You're listening to Convenience Matters, brought to you by Nax. Whether it's for food, fuel, drinks, or snacks, about half of the U.S. population shops at a convenience store every day. We'll talk about what we see at stores and what the future may hold for our industry. I'm Jeff Leonard with Nax. And I'm Carolyn Schneer, also with Nax. And what we'd like to talk about today is... Um, I think something every parent can can identify with this. You do anything for your kids, but most of the time it's fairly mundane. But but imagine you face a situation where your, your child has a significant illness. There are people that the hospitals that help them, and, and the the loyalty that that can instill to your business uh, can be very powerful. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can do good and how it can do good for your company. We are going to talk about building brand loyalty for our retailer stores, but we want to hear from the source. And today our guest is president of Children's Miracle Network, John Locke. Thank you so much for joining us by phone. You're welcome. Great to be with you. We're very happy you're with us. Um, And we know a little bit about uh, Children's Miracle Network hospitals uh, just from talking to retailers who work with you guys. And um, one of them we had on about a year ago with Speedway. We talked all about Miracles by Speedway on that episode about how great not only the, the CMN is, but what it can do for the brand and the retailer that are, are, are working to help raise money for you. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you wouldn't mind, just tell us a little bit about Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Sure. You know, we raise funds and awareness for 170 children's hospitals in the U.S. and Canada. So our hospitals represent, uh, if you look at U.S. News and World Report, um, we have over 90 of the top 100 hospitals. So we are working with and dealing with the major hospitals that are really out there treating kids from the very sickest of kids all the way down to anything that they need to help with illness or injury. Um, Our mission is very simple. It's uh, to make sure that everybody's aware, first of all, that children's hospitals, uh, in spite of uh, government help and insurance and everything else, still need financial support. They do not have all the finances that they need to be able to do everything that our kids need to be strong and healthy. Um, And then we also make sure that we are providing for our hospitals relationships and programs that help them raise the money. And one of the relationships that works very well for us is uh, what we call corporate partners. So we have over 90 wonderful uh, corporate partners who work with us uh, to be able to help raise funds and awareness for kids. And um, in the convenience industry, we work with a number of outstanding uh, partners that are in uh, your industry that really help us uh, mostly at register be able to raise funds for customers. One of the things that's unique about our model is that all the funds that are raised stay local. So wherever they are raised, they go to the hospital and support the hospital in that community. Uh, the other thing about our model that's something that I love and attracted me to come and work for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals um, is the money is unrestricted. And what that means is the money goes to the hospital to help whatever they need to be done. Quite often in fundraising, money is restricted. In other words, it goes to a specific cause or it goes to put a name on a building or to do something that is certainly beneficial, but the hospitals really need to have discretion over where the money goes. So this is money that stays local. It's uh, unrestricted. The hospital can use it where it's got the greatest need and makes the biggest difference. Last year, we raised nearly $400 million, and those $400 million across those 170 hospitals supported approximately 11 million kids um, who benefited from that support. And I don't think there's another children's charity that has that level of impact in North America. So in summary, that's who we are. That's what we do. And and mentioning the 11 million kids, I started at the top by saying you do anything for your kids. And and that's when things are fairly routine. But what, what your organization does is when your entire world has been thrown upside down, you're there for people. And, and that, that has a big impact, not just on changing lives, but when, when you're local and you're helping out the local community, um, it resonates with customers. And, and there's definitely, um, you're, you're paying it forward and they're paying it right back at you. Yeah, I would. And it, one of the things I've learned over the years is it's not just these children who obviously benefit from from critical care at these hospitals, but it's the families that are healed. So you have siblings and parents 
who are dramatically affected whenever a child um, particularly has a critical illness or injury. And uh, so what I've seen and noticed over the years that these funds uh, are as healing for the entire family as they are for the child. And what I think is important, particularly uh, in your industry, is not only does it help the family, it helps the community. And because of that, um, it really creates, I think, a level of brand loyalty. So what we've noticed is all the, the partners that we work with, because of the funds that they raise for their local children's hospitals, um, they we can actually go in and measure and look at customer loyalty where there's preference to use that particular service or brand because of how they are giving back specifically right there in their own community. So they're not sending the money to some worldwide center or some national center. They are sending that money in that community directly to that hospital. And Carolyn alluded to uh, Speedway. I believe the March 2018 Nax Magazine has a great story on Children's Miracle Network. And I I believe Speedway, 60 of your 170 uh, affiliated hospitals are part of their area. And, and as you said earlier, it's, it's local with Speedway. What are, what are the examples of how they just uh, make everybody feel that they're all part of one big community and all working together? Is there signage? Are there stories? Are there, there ways to tell the story to, to say we're part of something bigger and we're all working in this together? Yeah, absolutely. And I first I'll give a big shout out to Tony Kinney and Glenn Plumby there at the Speedway because they they really do this from their heart. But uh, they've raised nearly a hundred million dollars since 1991, and they've done it through a various uh, assortment of programs, um, canister programs in in their locations. They have done this uh, in what we call a balloon icon program, where they actually sell paper balloons. Um, and those dollars then um, are collected, and uh, quite often you will see in their stores those balloons that are, uh, you know, um, pasted up in the store. And those are those are things that we used to do. Today, um, the, the focus is more on uh, trying to get, you know, those dollars in store through the canister program. They also have a, a program that I love uh, in in one market that they do for Children's Hospital in Indianapolis. They do what's called the bear in the chair. Uh, program where they donate a teddy bear to sit in the child's chair at the classroom until the child is well enough to come back to school. And uh, while the child's in the hospital, he can know that he or she has friends at school and they can see the bear and remember them. So, you know, it's one of those soft things, you know, that makes a huge difference along the way as they are also contributing. They contribute a, a significant amount of money to Riley that goes to purchasing equipment, paying for uninsured care. It covers research and a number of other things that Riley does so great for the kids in the greater Indiana area. And that bear is, is um, it has a, a logo too on it. So the the ancillary benefit to the retailers that they the, the kids and their families will see that and then they'll want to shop more because maybe the certain day is something that they all make a call and say hey go to this uh, this speedway and go this day and 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 let's pay tribute to our friend because I know I, my kids are in elementary age and we have a lot of those calls to action of everybody go to this store on this day or this restaurant on this day because they're doing this fundraiser so all of a sudden not only is are they brand aware about Children's Miracle Network but they're they're looking after their friend. They're helping out in every way they can, and this is one of the best ways they can do that. And then they're going to Speedway, and that's that's great for everybody. Yeah, and Carolyn, uh, Speedway wouldn't brag about it, but they also were recognized by a, a PR News Award for Best Campaign. And, and, and they're doing it because they believe in the program, but um, I just think it's a terrific visual and, and all those elements and just saying we care and just a terrific program. It's a win-win for everybody, especially the kid. Yeah, That's yeah. most important. You know, another great story about Speedway in Dayton, for Dayton Children's Hospital, they actually funded the, you've seen them before at banks and so forth, where they have kind of that air delivery system where you put you put items in, in, in a device and it's sent in an air tube. Um, they had, they paid for that system in the, the new wing of Dayton's Children's Hospital. And they use that system to be able to rapidly deliver drugs and other items uh, through the many floors of the hospital. And so it is logoed. When you go in there and visit that hospital, you will see it's called the Speedway Delivery System. And so parents and the community can see exactly where those funds have been applied and recognize, wow, you know, those guys are great. They're really making a difference in my community. 
Convenience stores are about speed of service, and I think that exemplifies it. So you mentioned earlier, too, that um, a lot of the hospitals are local, but there are some communities without an actual local hospital, you know, within just driving distance. People can't quite see them when they pass them or they don't know it's there. But um, I've heard stories about if a child gets sick in a region um, that you guys will help them get to the hospital they need to, whether it means temporarily or even on a longer term basis. So that's making it more local for for any of the stores. Is, Is that correct? Yeah, and I think, you know, so first of all, 100% of the U.S. and Canada um, is involved in fundraising. So whether that location is physically in a metro where that hospital is located or it's 60, 80, 100 miles away, um, it is still the hospital where those children are being treated and recognized even in those rural and small communities as the go-to place. So and in many cases, we those large metro children's hospitals have clinics and outreach centers where anything from cancer infusion treatments happen to, you know, mending broken bones. So those those funds don't always um, manifest themselves just in the metro hospital location. In t- today's world of healthcare, you've got outreach through clinics and uh, same-day surgery centers, et cetera, that are attached to the hospital. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's great to know. Now, another um, one of our convenience stores um, our members that you work with is Love's Travel Stops. Now, Travel Stops a little different because now you're looking at a lot of uh, transient people, people on the road, truck drivers, people stopping in that might not even live in that town, but they're still helping. They're still giving back. And when you're you're buying a cup of coffee or, or something and you're donating, it just tastes better when you know that the rest of that, um, the, the proceeds are going to something amazing. So Love's has been a terrific supporter of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Um, I, I, I saw something that they were, um, a lot of their stores were devastated during Hurricane Harvey. And so some of the other store locations picked up and they were still able to, to raise a tremendous amount of money last year. Yeah, they, uh, we, uh, t- to use the cliche, we love love. <laughs> and, uh, you know, big shout out to Jenny Love and her family there because they, again, another example of a great convenience store industry partner that uh, really gets it and has made a difference. They've raised over $20 million since uh, our partnership uh, began in 1999. And um, they uh, are remarkable in that you really hit it on the head. I mean, they, these are these are truck stop locations. Most of the funds that they're receiving are not from local people in the community. They're people that are passing through, but yet understand the benefit of being able to support, hey, if I give to this community, um, it's going to it's going to be paid forward. Uh, but one of the ways that Loves has found an opportunity to really engage with the community and really strengthen their business presence and their brand is through our Dance Marathon program. And um, they are now contributing uh, funds that they have raised to be able to support uh, some of our college and university and even high school dance marathon programs. And this is just a program that is engaging that demographic in doing peer-to-peer fundraising. They commemorate it all with a weekend of dance and celebration, hence we call it a dance marathon. But it is a prolific and fast-growing program across our country uh, where Kids, when they're they're normally at that age where they're worried about you know um, me and my my college, my education, and what's in it for me, actually turning them towards, hey, what about my community and other people, and how can I help them? And so, Loves has found a way to not only engage in raising money through them and with them for the local hospital, but helping to help make them better citizens in the community who now you know, are advocating for children's health care and uh, doing something uh, that that they will do, really, many of them for the rest of their lives. And speaking of Love's, uh, hearing about, uh, there was this one store manager at Love's, uh, his name was Bernie Burns, or is Bernie Burns, and, and he was collecting $2,000 a day for uh, donations to Love's. And then you learn a little bit more about his story. You helped him. You helped his daughter when she had a heart condition. When I mean you, I mean Children's Miracle uh, Network Hospitals. And he's so passionate about it, he wants to pay it back. And he collect, helped collect, with loves, $80,000 over a 40-day period. And, and that shows the power of how you pay it forward and how we're all part of a big virtuous circle. We say that convenience stores are community stores. 
that's a perfect example of how we all play together, whether we're retailers or whether we're suppliers. And we hear stories about how suppliers are equally connected to uh, Children's Miracle Network. You have McLean, you have Convenience Valet. Uh, Do you have any examples about how they tell the story uh, or or the stories that you've heard that that really tell you that we're all part of this bigger community that's making making a difference? Yeah, well, uh, you know, every single one of these partners that you've mentioned, and it's true of, of all our corporate partners, um, it really comes down to it's about the stories. And there's not a single partner that doesn't have a number of its own employees who have had kids who have been directly treated and, and lives saved at their local children's hospitals or a neighbor or a family member. I mean, you don't have to go very far to be able to find the connection and hence the story. And it's those stories that motivate us. Those are the stories that um, really um, help us understand the impact of the change uh, that occurs when we do something really good. And um, what I found is I've met store managers and I've met, you know, employees. Um, um, I've heard so many of these stories. I met Bernie Burns um, and uh, it's amazing. You got to think about $80,000, the average store and this raises probably five or $6,000 per sky raised 80,000 in his store. So that gives you a, a sense of magnitude and the difference when someone when when there's a story that's that personal and, and how motivating it can be. But I guarantee you that Bernie uh, shares with every one of his customers the impact that the hospital had. And I think because of that, um, what I notice is the loyalty that he has there in, in, in the Memphis area with, you know, uh, you know, his stores really makes a huge difference and in, uh, in terms of the loyalty back to him. So, John, these are amazing stories. And I think that this is just a, a screaming endorsement to why – our retailers and our vendors um, that are helping supply our, our retail companies should give back, should get involved with local charities, with um, just helping the people that they serve as well. And this is a tremendous example. What's a way that a retailer, a listener, can get involved with Children's Miracle Network? Well, we have a website, and that's a good place to start. It's cmnhospitals.org. So cmnhospitals.org. One thing I love about our website is while we're a national charity, regardless of where you live, when you go in and enter that URL, it'll actually give you the local children's hospital that you will be supporting. But all the tools are there for you to interact and see not only what we're doing for that local hospital in your area, but what we do on a national basis. I would just encourage anybody to find out how you can participate and donate to go to the website. And I would put out a huge plea to anybody in the convenience store industry um, to come join us. Um, I think this is the perfect cause. Um, I, you know, I have a dream and a vision where we could get to the day where you could say that the cause that this entire industry supports is children's hospitals and children's health. We have the tools and abilities to make that happen. I don't know of many other opportunities where you can have a national coalition and cause like this, but yet have everything happen grassroots at the local level. So, um, that's the way to engage with us and connect with us is on our website. Well, as Jeff mentioned, we all, a lot of us have kids, a lot of us know kids, all of us were kids, and we want to give those kids the opportunity and the, the privilege of joining up to be, growing up to be adults like us, so every little bit helps. Now, you have um, every uh, week in the year, you have Children's Hospital Week, and that's uh, in March, the first week of March? Yes, it is, correct. Well, we can certainly... And this is... Go, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm going to say this is our opportunity to really highlight for everybody the the fact that children's hospitals need financial support. So it is as much about creating the awareness for why children's hospitals need support as the fundraising. Well, you hear from some people or you see uh, sitcoms, they talk about jobs and people are crying at their desk and it's obviously not a good situation for a work environment. What we're talking about here is where you're crying at your desk, tears of joy, because you, you just feel the connection with the community and you're making a difference and you know that every day you come to work, it's important, whether you're at a store raising funds or whether you're working uh, more directly with Children's Miracle Network or other groups. So it's really an honor and a privilege to be associated with groups like this where we're just making each other better and making a difference and a, a real purpose in our jobs that goes well beyond the sales within our industry. So thank you very much, John, for your time today. 
And uh, we look forward to hearing more great stories as we learn more about groups that are working with Children's Medical Network. So. And you can give Jeff or I a call at NAX. Uh, you can visit our website, too, convenience.org slash community toolkit to learn more about children's hospitals and what it can do to help your business grow and can help support those charities and the communities within them. So thank you, John. And well, thank you, guys. You're welcome. And thank you for listening to Convenience Matters. Convenience Matters is brought to you by NAX and produced in conjunction with Human Factor Media. For more information, visit convenience.org.